Synth Founders Galaxy OVR Roar is not just a toy, but it's a full kit for you and your kids to master robotics. With the Galaxy OVR Master Roar, you get 23 listen codes. You can run these codes on the robot and even change them as you like. I already made a video on how to build and test this robot. You can find a link in the description. Today, we will only cover the motors. As you can see, this robot has six motors. There are three motors on the right side and three motors on the left side. These motors are divided into two groups, left side motors and right side motors. You cannot individually control any motor on the left side and the same goes for the motors on the right side. If you send a signal to turn on a motor on the right side, all the motors on that side will turn on and if you adjust the speed, all the motors will change speed at the same time. Think of these six motors as just two motors, one on left side and one on the right side. All these motors are connected to a motor driver using only four pins, two, three, four and five on the Arduino Uno and you can control the speed and direction. So let's start with our first example. First, you'll need to download the soft PWM library which allows us to control the speed and direction of the motors. To install this library, simply copy the library name, then go to the sketch menu, then to include library and click on the manage libraries. Paste the library name in the search box. You can see I have already installed this library. You also need to install the same exact library. Next, we define pins for the motors. We are telling the controller which pins on the Arduino are going to be used to control two groups of motors, right side motors and left side motors. The setup function runs once when the program starts. Here we start the soft PWM library with soft PWM begin function. The loop function runs over and over again. In this loop, we set the left motors to rotate counterclockwise using the pulse width modulation or PWM to set the N1 to its full speed and we set the N2 to zero, which means stop. And we do the opposite thing to the right side motors. I have set the right motors to rotate clockwise. In simple terms, this code makes the left motor spin in one direction and right motor spin in the opposite direction, both at full speed. To upload this program, first connect the USB cable. Next, select the Arduino Uno from the board list. Next, select the communication port. Finally, click on the upload button. Turn on the switch and you will see the Galaxy RVR will start moving in the forward direction forever. Let's modify the code. I want the Galaxy RVR to move forward for 3 seconds, then I want it to stop for 2 seconds and then I want it to move in the reverse direction. Again, it stops for 2 seconds and then this repeats again and again. As you can see, I have modified the code. First, the robot moves forward for 3 seconds. To stop the robot, I have set all the pins to 0. For reverse direction, I have set N1 and N4 to 0 and N2 and N3 to 255 for full speed. Then there is a 3 second delay. So the robot will go in reverse for 3 seconds and then stop for 2 seconds. Let's upload this program. You can also control the motor speed very easily. You need to remember 0 means stop and 255 means full speed. So to control the speed, you can use any value between 0 and 255. Let's modify the code. To reduce the speed, this time I have replaced 255 with 100. Let's upload the program. You can control the robot left-right movement using different techniques. For example, if you turn off the motors on the right side and turn on the motors on the left side, the robot will turn to the right side. If you turn off the motors on the left side and turn on the motors on the right side, the robot will turn to the left. If you want the robot to turn quickly, you can make the motors on both sides rotate in opposite directions. If you want the robot to turn slowly, you can simply use the speed. Let's take a look at the modified code. To turn the robot to the right side, I simply set the N1 to 255 and all the other pins to zero. Then the robot stops for two seconds. For the left side movement, I set the N4 to 255 and all the other pins to zero. Again, the robot stops for two seconds. For the quick movement, we turn on the motors on both sides. For the slow movement, we simply reduce the PWM value. Let's upload this program.
Now let's go ahead and take a look at the final program. You can define your own functions for the robot's movement. This will make your code more organized and you can easily make changes. As you can see, to move the robot forward, we have the function move forward. This is a user defined function. It has no return type and takes only one value as an argument, which is the speed. Now you don't need to go into the function body to change the speed. You can just change the value over here. The same thing applies to all these other functions. You can set any speed you want. The code is same as I have already explained. This time we just put the code into functions and that's it. Let's upload this program. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.